Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Insane Med. If you guys are new here, hi, I'm Suprita. I'm a medical graduate from India and I'm currently on my USMLE journey and I'm preparing for my step one exams. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a review or sort of an overview of the True Learn question bank that I have been using for my step one prep. So without further ado, let's get started. As soon as you guys log in, this is how the true line question bank is going to look like. And if you look at the left hand side, there are various subdivisions that are present, right? Like dashboard, performance, create test, all of these things. I will uh, tell you guys in detail about all of it and how to use it as um, very effectively. But the first thing that they show on your front screen is basically something called the performance snapshot. What they are showing here is what is your performance percentage in comparison to the national average which is very important because you want to know how you are performing in comparison to other people who are also taking the test and using this question bank. If you look at my step 1 question bank, what I usually do is I come before starting a particular um, subject or a particular topic, I come here and I will take a, a preliminary pre-assessment okay so the reason i do this is because it is going to set up a benchmark for me and tell me that hey this is where you are at currently right now and this is where uh, everybody else is so you have to improve by these many points so um i am going to come and take tests and i'm going to see how much is the difference and how much i can improve after i take the test i basically go and read um from my first aid book or look at videos understand the concepts well when i'm done with my dedicated period i will come back here again and i will solve more questions so that is basically how i use the question bank and um, if you look at the various other options that are present let's go back to my step two question bank there is something called a quick create that is present here why i absolutely love this quick create thing is as soon as you open you can just start solving questions now what i used to do sometimes is while i'm traveling or i just woke up from sleep and i don't want to think too much i just go to quick create and i choose the tutor mode i choose 40 random questions and i just press the quick create so what this does is it takes random questions from everywhere from all subjects and it will give you a question like this very very nicely simulates the way the USMLE questions are asked the layout is also uh, same so if you are not comfortable with this interface and you are getting bored you can also go to change interface where you will get the true learn question bank interface and uh, you start solving yeah so basically I am going to press an answer and you are going to get the answer here like this and what I absolutely love here is the amount of detailed information and explanation that they give in this question bank. Just look at the amount of explanation that they have given because as Indians if you are used to solving some of the very popular uh, apps that are present we rarely get so much explanation for an answer in a question bank but what they do here is basically explain the right answer they will give you the etiology the clinical features diagnosis and treatment they will give you adequate uh, uh, images and explain what they're trying to ask in the question and they will also give you explanation to why the other options are wrong that is what i absolutely love about this and what i actually also do is when i'm reviewing a question uh, or looking at the answers sometimes i also just take screenshots of these uh, tables or uh, pictures that they have given and i am making a separate file where i am making note of all the extra information or things that i did not know at all in that sense also this is very useful or what you can just do is you can copy text as note and save it Basically, if you, this is something that you did not know and you think is very important, you can make your own separate notes in TrueLearn as well. Okay, so now let's go back. I want to show you guys a few other things. Let's go to performance now. So 
initially it did show the uh, performance snapshot right here you have a little bit of a detailed uh, performance uh, explanation where they are going to break down each subject like you can see here medicine obs gyne pediatrics and surgery and they are going to tell you in which subject you are weak and which subject you are good at and how you have to improve so basically if you see i am sort of a little weak in surgery and a little bit in pediatrics so i might have to uh, focus on that so this is basically for step 2 don't get confused i did the uh, similar steps for um, step 1 question bank as well i have already used it up and moved on from my pre dedicated period that's why i'm showing you guys my step 2 question bank so the next thing we have is the create test i showed you guys the quick create test now this is the advanced create test uh, panel where you can uh, modify the categories that you want to be tested on for example let's say i just finished medicine and i just want to do medicine i can come here and choose medicine and in this i can again go to refine by system and if i only want to do cardiovascular system i can choose cardiovascular system and i will only be asked questions from medicine in cardiovascular system and i can also sort of choose between new questions or used questions incorrect questions or marked questions so how this is going to be helpful is sometimes i like to use um, something called the active learning technique right where i am basically trying to recall what i had studied a few days before so what i will do then i will sort of um, during the review i would have flagged a few questions as uh, something that i did not know and i will um, only select the marked questions when i want to revise them so that i will only review whatever i did not know so that is also a very useful thing one more thing that you can do is you have unlimited reset option which is very very unique to true learn because if you see other platforms you can reset your questions only once but true learn you can reset your questions to new state how many ever number of times you want right so yeah you can also choose the difficulty from easiest to hardest however you want it to be and interface also like i already told you guys you can either use the usmle or the true learn interface it is up to you if you go to my tests now you will get a snapshot of all the tests that you taken and i told you guys about notes right so whenever you are reading if you feel like there is something really important that you want to remember you can just choose the copy text as notes option and those notes will be here one more unique thing here is they would have given you the question id as well as um, you will have an option here on the right side you can directly go to the question you can go to the question and review the question again so this is what i absolutely love about it okay. so the next thing is a uh, question search option this is also something very very nice because let's say there is a particular topic or a particular uh, subject that i want to learn specific things about let's say i want to do aneurysm so if i type aneurysm what it's going to do it's going to bring up all the questions that contain aneurysm here which is amazing right which because you can basically learn everything about aneurysm or everything about one particular thing that you are confused about you'll get all the questions in one place one more amazing thing that i want to show you guys here is something called uh, the picmonic integration that they have see for certain questions you have this uh, pencil kind of mark no so for these questions if you go down there is something amazing called the picmonic memory anchors these are very short and cute videos which are going to give you story like explanation about the particular a uh, topic see for example it is explaining about edema multiforme where it is basically going to give you cartoons and uh, give you explanation about how you can remember this particular topic which is also very very helpful so this was a review of the trulan question bank that i have been using for my step one preparation if you guys are interested in buying it please go to the link in my description below and use my code to get a discount on it 
and um, if you guys want me to make a detailed video about how I have been studying for my step 1 preparation exam, what notes I am making and what resources that I am using, let me know in the comment section below. I will make it soon. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about true learn or anything else, do put it in the comment section below. I will get back to you guys as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.